think most of the times the farmers have like I have a middleman who can buy from me. That is the most information that they have. And who gives them the prices is the middleman. They tell you is this much I can buy it from you, you take it or leave it. So how does a farmer who has a baby in the house crying, waiting for somebody to come and give them cash, wait for another buyer to come so that they can negotiate with? And how does he even negotiate with? At what point does he face himself? So I want to sell it, yes, but this is the only option I have. This guy is telling me it's 1,000 per bag of maize that I But I verify that this information that this person is giving me is the correct information. So this is just one bit of the problem. ICT is just less than 1% of the problems that the farmers are facing. Information is just, you know, the starting point. So, um, given the fact that Anthem is working towards empowering these farmers and creating market linkages and informing farmers that there is another neighbor of yours who wants to sell the same kind of crop and there is a big buyer who will buy from you at this specific price, it's better than what you are getting from the middleman, how does he wait for that buyer to come? He has an urgent need, which is, I need cash this moment and not sell. Yes, you give them everything that you think they require, but it's not what they require. So the first thing that happens in the ground is, um, as my colleague, here, my colleague can attest to, when you tell a farmer I'm aggregating for you this produce, is somebody who's coming to buy from you is the first thing they'll ask you is, why am I going to store it for the next three or two weeks? So storage, which is not, has nothing to do with um, ICT, is a big role. And also the part that I mentioned at the beginning is the farmer needs an instant cash. If not, you're not paying them that, that moment, then you're not helping them out. So I know the price. I know somebody wants to buy blah, 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 blah. I need that cash now. That's it. So finances, storage facilities are two things that are affecting the farmers on the ground. And the other thing that the farmers have the biggest issue with is, yes, you are a fancy person coming from the urban areas and you come up with a very good application, you go down there. Oh, most of the farmers that we have currently in Kenya, especially the small scale farmers, are illiterate people. They have never used this gadget that you're talking about. All they do is they know how to like, punch those buttons and make a call or receive an SMS if you are lucky to find one who has, who has that knowledge to use that SMS. So if you don't have farmers, a certain group of farmers who are literate, a certain group of farmers who can wait for their cash for later, a certain group of farmers who can find the nearest storage uh, place to store their produce, then information alone is not enough. So I don't know if I took seven minutes, but those are just the things that I wanted to mention. Thank you. Uh, let's give up.